to the judiciary stage? And how will the president respond? And as the Iowa caucuses inch closer, who will emerge? Sunday on ABC's This Week with George. It's a number one true crime podcast. Now, listen as U.S. Marshals give stunning access in the manhunt to catch a fugitive. Can you help catch a killer? Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? Listen free now on Apple Podcasts. Four, two, two. Two, 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 two. Four, two, two. Two, 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 two. Four, two, 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 two. Mele, 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 tricky mark. Mele, 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 tricky mark. Happy holidays from the camp. American Carpet One Floor and Home gives your home more than you can imagine. Quality flooring and more. At American Carpet One Floor and Home, we have it all and we do it all. See the difference we can make for your home. Need extra dough for the holidays? For a limited time, Pearl Hawaii Federal Credit Union's personal loans are as low as 2.99% APR for 12 months or 3.99% for 24 months. Open your account and apply at pearlhawaii.com slash 2019 holiday. Upgrade you. Be radiant with the new timeless illuminating makeup. Come in today and find your shade match at Merle Norman. Merle Norman, made in the USA. Visit your nearest Merle Norman cosmetic studio for your personalized service. Annalisa Burgos, weekends on Good Morning Hawaii. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now on Good Morning Hawaii, a close call for a homeowner in Waikale. Plus, two retail giants are going out of business. We'll tell you where the crowds flock to for Black Friday to try and score some final sales. And Black Friday mayhem. Watch the heated moment. A fight broke out among shoppers at a store on Oahu. Good morning, Hawaii. Thanks for joining us on Hawaii's only weekend morning newscast. I'm Tom George. Hope you're having a good extended weekend That's after right. the holiday. Aloha, everybody. I'm Annalisa Burgos. Thank you for joining us today. A quick programming note for you. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be switching over to MeTV at 7 this morning due to college football. And those channels are Digital Channel 126, Direct TV Channel 4-1, and 47-1 Off Air. But for right now, we're going to be right here. We're going to turn to our top story on Oahu, where a Waikele homeowner says he's lucky he wasn't hurt after a car went barreling into his house. That's right. The scary scene was all caught on camera, taken from inside his house by his surveillance system. Imagine being at home and hearing this. <laughs> I'm shook. Derek Urbino still can't believe what happened while he was in the shower getting ready for work a little bit after noon. I thought it was just something falling off in my kitchen and then look outside some more. There's a car in my front door and I'm like, I don't know what to do. What's this next? car had so, reversed from the parking lot, jumped the curb, threw a fence and right through his front door. Urbino says by the time he walked out, the driver of the car had already been helped out of the car by neighbors and taken to an ambulance. Turns out the driver is 74 years old. We're still not sure what caused that crash, but Urbino is just counting his blessings. I mean, it sucks that it was right after Thanksgiving, and I'm just glad that nobody got hurt. Um, if it was a day later, my family would have got injured with all our kids here, so I'm just glad that it wasn't during that time. Because of all the damage to his building, he's going to have to stay with family until his home is safe again. That's going to be in the books. <laughs> it's going to be in the books. Tom George, KTV4, Island News. Well, the Honolulu medical examiner has identified the man who died in a crash on Thanksgiving night as 74-year-old Clarence Shute. Police say he was driving down the Lique Lique Highway near Kamehameha Road when he hit the back corner of a car that stopped to allow a fire truck to pass by. The impact of the collision caused his SUV to flip over and shoot died at the scene. Now, speed does not appear to be a factor. It's still unclear, though, if drugs or alcohol were involved.
Well, after three weeks of construction, the latest effort to stop erosion in Waikiki is now complete. The 95-foot-long barrier is filled with 1,000 cubic yards of sand and is the first repair to stabilize the shoreline. Some say the project is much needed because rising sea levels have been taking away more from the beach each year. We can build structures that are efficient uh, and effective at maintaining sand when we place it in there, then we're better off and we won't have to keep putting sand on the beach as often. The next Waikiki Improvement Project will be at the Royal Hawaiian shoreline with a new sloping rock structure. That $2 million repair and replacement process could help maintain the beach since it will serve as a defense structure in case of a storm wave attack. Over on the Garden Isle, a brown water advisory is now in effect for Wailua Bay. The public is urged to stay out of the water because storm water runoff entered the ocean. Not all areas may be impacted, but officials want to remind the public to stay out of the water if it's brown. And good advisory there. Let's turn now to our weekend forecast. There's a live look outside. Let's head over to Tom with the weather. Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice this morning as you're waking up. You can see 70s across the islands, a little chillier than we're used to. Uh, as a matter of fact, you see 67 uh, in Hilo over on the big island right there. You're kind of the coolest part of the state right now as you continue your extended Thanksgiving weekend as the party continues uh, after Black Friday and everything. Uh, winds, though, that's the big story of the day. Look at that. Wow, pretty gusty in some spots, especially on the windward side. Uh, Garden Isle there, 24 uh, miles per hour. Um, as, again, as you're waking up here, a little bit cloudy. Um, it will get a little bit better as the day goes on. The sun kind of starts to peak out. We will peak in the 80s a little bit later today. Checking out your satellite. Uh, again, a little bit cloudy, but nothing too crazy going on right now. Your radar, uh, you can see those south-facing shores. Uh, some systems are moving in. We are expecting that to hit the area sometime Sunday. Today, you're going to be good if you want to head outside, but if you look Sunday right there, some AM trades uh, and the partly cloudy on the leeward side. But again, Breezy day as you're heading out there this weekend, 15 to 25 miles per hour in some spots. But overall, a pretty nice day. Annalisa, we'll send it back to you. Well, two men arrested in connection to a deadly fight in Makaha last week made their first appearance in court. 19-year-old Chasten Joseph and 28-year-old Brennan Nash both face attempted murder charges. Witnesses say the men shot several times at a man when a fight broke out at Makaha Community Park. The man who was allegedly targeted was not shot, but 39-year-old Makaya McCullough was shot and killed. No arrests have been made relating to McCullough's death. Joseph and Nash are currently being held on $500,000 bail. got heated between Black Friday shoppers inside Walmart Capole. Check out this video posted to social media. It happened around 6.30 Thursday night. Honolulu police responded to the scene and Walmart says it was the only disturbance they experienced that night. Always pretty crazy on Black Friday, and Black Friday, of course, marks the start of holiday shopping season, and uh, it's continuing from there. Stores still accepted be, uh, expected to be pretty busy this weekend. According to the National Retail Federation, 167 million people will shop between Black Friday and Monday. Yesterday, you see there were crowds packing Ala Moana Center in Honolulu. Well, we got up uh, early in the morning, around 4 a.m., to prepare for this Black Friday event. Just wanted to come here and, and I guess, sort of beat the crowds before it gets hectic. Hey, some fellow early risers there. Yeah, the mall will be open from 9.30 this morning until 9 o'clock at night. Santa, of course, also going to be taking photos with the Keiki over near Target. You can catch him there until 8. And, uh, of course, today is Small Business Saturday. It's a day dedicated to shopping at local retailers. On the Leeward Coast, there's an event going on at Kamakana Ali'i in Kapolei featuring more than 40 local vendors. In town, there's Keep It Kaimuki, which will showcase dozens of local businesses. That event kicks off this morning at 10. And this weekend also marks the 33rd Island-wide Christmas Craft and Food Expo over at the Blaisdell Exhibition Hall. That's going to be open now through Sunday. You can find Hawaii-made crafts and foods from more than 400 vendors. Event organizers hope to draw an estimated 20,000 shoppers this weekend. Good to support those local businesses. Mm -hmm. All right, well, meanwhile, yesterday was the last Black Friday for the Big and Tall by Kramer's Clothing Store in Kaka'ako. 
Hundreds of people lined up around the store Friday morning to buy clothes marked down by 40%. That sale continues today and will later be moved online. And of course, uh, Cyber Monday coming up too. So. <laughs> That's right. Lots of excuses to do your holiday shopping early. Yeah, or uh, procrastinate <laughs> like us. Yes. You know? All right. Well, time now is 6.07. is still ahead. See how a local ice rink is benefiting Hawaii schools. Plus, firefighters save the day after a family's Thanksgiving dinner catches on fire. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Mattress Firm's Black Friday sale has been extended. Get a king mattress for the price of a queen and a queen for a twin for savings of up to $600. Plus, get a free adjustable base. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. <laughs> you, you got me. Uh, what do you want? I've got uh, AI robots. I've got VR goggles. I want your sled, please. No. <laughs> Be a shame if this went viral. For those who never compromise. The Mercedes-Benz Winter Event. It was pretty good this year. Lease the GLE 350 SUV for $6.69 a month at the Mercedes-Benz Winter Event. This is a fight. Not to the finish, but to the beginning. A fight that can only be won if we stand together for one cause. Him. Expert care for every new beginning. Just announced, the Ford Black Friday Sellathon is back, bigger and better than ever. The biggest shopping event of the year is on now at your Hawaii Ford dealers. You won't get any better than this. Lease Ranger for only $199 per month. Lease F-150 for just $259 per month. Or drive home F-150 XLT with $92.50 total cash. The Ford Black Friday Sellathon is back, bigger and better than ever. So don't wait. Hurry to your Hawaii Ford dealers. It all ends Monday. Mattress Firm's Black Friday sale has been extended. Don't miss your chance to get a weighted blanket for just $69. And a Serta Perfect Sleeper Queen mattress now just $299. Hurry in, these deals won't last long. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. Welcome back. Time for your morning shakas. Today we're recognizing firefighters in Massachusetts who responded to a family's home not once, but twice on Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, the Brass family's turkey caught on fire shortly after they put it in the oven on Thursday. By the time the crews arrived, the flames were already out, so the first responders helped clean up the oven and gave the family the okay to keep on cooking. But then the oven caught on fire again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we'll talk about bad luck. The firefighters say they didn't want to leave the family without a ruined Thanksgiving, so they made a couple calls. She had people coming over for her house for Thanksgiving, and we, I just felt a little bad that she didn't have anything to serve the family. So we called a couple of times to a couple of restaurants. The Sky Restaurant in Nord was open. I had talked to uh, Leanna Green. She's the manager over there. She was very nice, and they donated the food for her. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, and the Brass family says they'll remember that act of kindness as an extra reason to be grateful on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Caught a fire twice. How did that happen? <laughs> I know. That's crazy. Someone yeah. needs to look at that oven. <laughs> right. Well, back here at home, the Honolulu Convention Center unveiled a new ice rink during its Winter Wishes Festival last night. Yeah, Olympic gold medalist Krista Yamaguchi was also there for the opening ceremonies. This year, a portion of all revenue from ticket sales will go to her Always Dream Foundation, which offers reading materials materials to Keiki right here in Hawaii. 60% of low-income families don't have age-appropriate books in the home, so we give them those books provided on a digital tablet. Well, Olympic ice skating duo Maya and Alex Shibutani were also at the grand opening. Ticket prices for the festival and ice rink range from $10 for a one-day senior or keiki pass to $70 for an unlimited season-long pass. Ah, so that looks like a fun activity for the I holidays. I know, and it's nice, especially you don't, you don't really get that much skating in Hawaii, obviously, so it's <laughs> good, to, right. good, to, good to still have that kind of winter wonderland feel and check yeah. that out. Yeah, Chris Yamaguchi in town, that was yeah. a lot of fun. T.J. Horgan was out there, too, skating it up, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> a lot of fun there. And uh, time now, 612. Still ahead, see where you can score some fresh cut trees just in time for Christmas. That's right. Plus, coming up in sports, it was state championship night in Hawaii high school football. Three titles were up for grabs under the Friday night lights at Aloha Stadium. We'll have those details coming up. Stay right with us. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. Catch up on today's top headlines with KITV4's Brenton Awad, 5, 6, and 10. Join the fun and excitement of the 33rd Annual Christmas Crafts and Food Expo this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Blaisdell Center. Find the best in handmade gifts and favorite island treats, big screen TVs to win, and $100 given away every 15 minutes, totaling $10,000. On stage, Mel V. Lead, Capenna, and more. Don't miss a great fair. Blaisdell Center this weekend. I love that one. I love it. I love it. It's easy to fall in love with a new Chevy. I love this one, too. And this wow. month is the perfect time to see why. Wow. I love it. That's my next truck. Find your reason to oh fall in love with a new Chevy and get a great deal all month long. I love it. I'm going to go buy a Chevy. <laughs> get 19% below MSRP on all 2019 Silverado Crew Cab pickups. That's over $10,000 on this Silverado. Or during the Black Friday sales event, get 20% below MSRP on other select 2019 models. Little Village Noodle House, awarded Hawaii's best Chinese food for the past 13 years in a row. Stop by our convenient Chinatown location for fast casual lunch or dinner with free parking. Little Village Noodle House features delectable, fresh, and healthy northern style Chinese cuisine. Want it to go? Then try our new app for takeout service. You can bring it home or to the office. It's the fast way to fresh and healthy food. Little Village Noodle House, Hawaii's best Chinese food. Discount Windows and Doors is having a storewide Thanksgiving sale for the entire month of November. Buy two and get one free. Yes, buy two and get one free on everything. What's on sale? Makai self-cleaning windows and doors. Hurricane-proof windows and doors. Beautiful stacking doors. All of our quality products are offered at the very best prices. We even offer a price match guarantee. Buy two, get one free this month only. Sale ends November 30th, so call or stop by our beautiful showroom in Kaneohe for incredible savings. All right, welcome back. Hope you're having a good Thanksgiving weekend, maybe going out and uh, doing some extra shopping. Maybe you're one of those crazy people that gets up super early. So if you are waking up, here's what it's looking at uh, right now outside. If you're stepping outside, maybe do some shopping, check that out. Some uh, pretty gusty winds. Look at that, especially the windward side, 29 miles per hour. Wow, in Kaneohe. The good news is, though, nothing too crazy on the radar here on Oahu. Maybe some uh, tiny showers here and there. But again, you see a little bit bigger system over there on Kauai if you live up there. Uh, a little uh, pockets of showers on Maui, a wind advisory also in effect right there. Uh, also a big system coming in uh, on the big island as well, so expect some scattered showers on there. Heading into Sunday though, uh, some AM trades, mostly on the uh, Malka sides, some leeward sides, partly cloudy though. Overall, a nice day in the 80s, gonna be breezy though with those gusty winds, that's what we've been saying. Again, your clouds and rain, uh, a little bit of pockets of showers in some parts of the island heading into the next couple days as you're uh, finishing up your weekend and finally getting back to uh, work. Surf forecast, nothing too crazy right now. Uh, only four to eight footers uh, on the north and east facing shores, but when that wind picks up the next couple days, that's going to go up and you're going to probably see some crazy surf, especially on the North Shore. But man, look at that beautiful eight day forecast. Doesn't get much better than that. Uh, highs in the 80s all week and going to be pretty sunny as you're uh, wrapping up your Thanksgiving. So get out there and enjoy it. If you're doing some shopping for now, we'll head on over to sports. Last night was championship night in Hawaii high school football. Good morning, I'm Brandi Higa. Aloha Stadium was the home for the title night triple header and in the open division final, Kohuku tried to dethrone the three-time defending state champ St. Louis. But the Crusaders struck early and often Jaden Delora hit Roman Wilson for an 86-yard touchdown a few seconds into the game. Then Kuali Nishigaya made it 14 zip off this six-yard run. He get two rushing scores in that first half, but the Red Raiders would not stay quiet in the first frame. Zila Matangi rushing TD from 38 yards out his 18th of the year. Men of Kalai Pohaku led by Delora, though incredibly tough to stop. St. Louis took a 31-6 lead into halftime after Delora ran this one in himself. He finished a 200 80 yards passing, one touchdown, and two rushing scores as St. Louis 
Made it four in a row, 45 to six Crusaders. The runaway final. Congratulate those guys. I didn't do anything. I never, I never threw a touchdown. Pretty proud of these guys, gotta be. Oh, you gotta be. You know, they, uh, they worked hard from the very beginning, and uh, to their credit, you know, this is what they, you know, they, they worked for, and I'm so happy for them. You know, I feel really blessed to have a, a group like this to, to work with because uh, they're really a special group. Seventh trophy in the state title era for St. Louis. 296 win for head coach Cal Lee. And that open division game had a tough act to follow. Iolani and unbeaten Hilo went down to the wire in the Division I championship game. This game was all Iolani early. Field goal by Wailoa Manuel. Two-yard keeper by Jonah Chong. Then Meki Pei got this 94-yard punt return for touchdown. But this was also a game of two halves. Hilo down 14 points at the break. Was able to chip away. A rushing score in the third quarter. Akai Miyasato pass play in the fourth. And then with time running down, Keanu Keola Nui had the chance for the go-ahead. A 55-yard field goal try for the Hilo win. see your face so you want to show us your yeah. so this right. is the game winner right here man what's up guys is there any uh any feeling you've ever had like that the way it bounced and did, yeah just no, the, everything's going through right no other feeling it's so good i just want to say thank you to everybody and it's a very special moment in my life we know he has a leg in that situation we just tell him hey there's no pressure bang it as far as you can Keola Nui's 55-yard game-winning field goal up the crossbar gave Hilo the 20-17 D1 state title win, second in three years for the D2 championship now. And with over 1,300 rushing yards coming into last night, Lahaina Luna's Joshua Tejada racked up another 310 yards on the ground yesterday. Got his 21st touchdown of the year in the first quarter to put the Lunas on the board first. Kapa'a answered right back, though. Baba Na'o punched it in still first quarter to tie this game at seven. But before the first half would be done, Tejada again. This time, 22 yards to the house. He'd break loose for another touchdown run in the fourth quarter to finish with all of Lahaina's scores and their 21-10 win to clinch their fourth straight day two, D2 state title. But to get a four-peat, you know, uh, coming from a small community such as ours, I mean, he's going to be, he's definitely going to be talked about for years to come with this, not only him, but this team and how they approach the game and how, how successful the, the past four teams were. And yeah, it's going to set the standard now for every other team. I did feel like I left it on the field, but um, I'd just like to thank the O-line period from first, from first uh, my freshman year to this very moment now, man. They pushed me to where I am today. It's just no words can explain how much work we put in to be in this very moment. I'm just very thankful. What a night in prep football. And if you didn't get your fill last night, that stadium could be rocking again today as the UH football team takes the field for its final regular season game of 2019. Bowls will take on Army and already having locked up a spot in next week's Mountain West Championship game. Tonight will be about playing for pride in the 23 Rainbow Warriors seniors. Emotions are high, especially after last week's win. But um, there's a few of us, uh, super seniors, you know, who've been here with the Chow era, uh, Ro, Epe, Pumba. Just seeing how things have changed and um, the camaraderie in the locker room, the brotherhood we have now, it's, um, you know, we're going to miss it. Back from injury, senior running back Dane Furuta back in practice this week. Kickoff against the Black Knights at Aloha Stadium tonight. It's a bit later, kickoff set for 7.30. And back on lower campus last night, the UH women's basketball team was in action. Rainbow Wahine hosted North Texas on night one of this year's Rainbow Wahine showdown. And UH hung with them for the first quarter. But it was in the second, things got a bit out of hand. Eagles built a double-digit lead in the first half. Won last night 66-60. to Thanks to team at 21 points from Anisha George. Wahine were led by Julissa Tango's 15 points. Next for Hawaii, NC State this afternoon. Him. Emotional. Here's a veil. Second chance given. Second chance points in the second game at the stand after the women Rainbow Warriors took the floor last night hosting San Francisco. 
Still without head coach Aran Nat, who remains on medical leave. And Zygmar's Rymo, one of four Rainbow Warriors in double figures against the Dons. Check out the bench. Look how hyped they got. And for good reason, San Francisco came to Manoa last night undefeated in 2019. Not anymore. Drew Buggs played unconscious 25 points in last night's 85-75 Hawaii win. Next HPU tomorrow. And that's a look at your morning sports. I'm Brandy. He Catch Island Sports with Cody Cruff. Weekends on KITV4. Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Through all of life's milestones, we're here for you, for life. Experience the ultimate in durability and award-winning designs with Prism, the latest in luxury flooring from Armstrong. Dent, scratch, and steam resistant, Prism flooring is also 100% waterproof, protecting against spills and pets. Choose from 20 uniquely crafted designs where realistic textures combine for the ultimate natural look. To learn more about Prism Luxury Flooring, visit the Homeowners Design Center at 1030 Cobo Street, Honolulu. Installation service is also available. My cholesterol was going up, my blood pressures were going up, and my weight was going up, and I didn't know what to do. But my doctor said to consider the Akahi Ornish program. And after the nine weeks, my weight was down. Now a total of 45 pounds. My blood pressures are normal and my cholesterol is still normal. I feel better than I have in 20 years. This holiday season, make the most of your road home. Hurry in to receive a credit of up to $4,500 on select models now through December 2nd. Diana Co. Weekends only on KITV4 Island News. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 624. Well, if you bought some gifts this Black Friday, you might still need the tree to put them under. <laughs> That's right. KITV 4's Tasia Worley shows us one of the spots on Oahu where you can pick one up this weekend. Now that Thanksgiving is officially over, we don't have to feel so bad while we hang our Christmas decorations up. Cue the music. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, especially on University Avenue. Richard Tajiri, also known as Mr. Christmas, opened up for the 43rd year selling fresh Christmas trees. And when I say fresh, I mean it. Tajiri and his team head up to Washington and hand pick every tree that they bring to Hawaii. Assistant General Manager Bert Shiosaki said that they have many farms that they go to and walk from aisle to aisle for the pickings. That's how we get all our beautiful trees. We're looking for shape, we're looking for tops. Mm -hmm. if, if the tops, if you notice, all our tops are pretty full. Yeah. So that's one of the keys that everybody likes. Perfect. And then of course the fullness and the uh, symmetry and you want to see a nice triangle. They cut the trees within the last week of October and first week of November. They're inspected, cleaned and pre-certified before being shipped. People lined up for their pick of Noble, Nordman, Grand Furs and more. The Nishikawa family came back for their eighth year, and they say it's become a tradition. It's been a family tradition. We come the day after Thanksgiving and pick out the tree for Grandma's house, our house, and uh, for our cousin. Every year we pick trees, and it's just a really fun thing to do. From size to price, flocked or not, the smell of fresh-cut trees and the Christmas spirit is strong. I love Christmas, so... Um, I love coming and get the cheese and decorating it. I love Christmas too. Of course there's nothing wrong with an artificial tree, but some say you just can't beat the real thing. Christmas is not complete without a nice, beautiful <laughs> Christmas tree. This is what makes everything. All the kids are happy. That's the main thing. Trees are available while supplies last every day, 10 in the morning till 9 p.m. And what do you want to see under the Christmas tree this year? Presents. 
So do I. Tasia Worley, KITV4 Island News. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, yeah, nothing can beat the smell of the fresh tree. Yeah, and that's cool that they bring them to Hawaii. Otherwise, I was just going to get one of those little one of those little Charlie Brown sad <laughs> trees with like two lights on it or something. It's not yeah. sad. It's a, it's a nice tree, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and for a <laughs> list of uh, some other retailers that are selling Christmas trees, you can visit our website, KITV.com. All right. Well, the time is 627 a.m. on this beautiful Saturday morning. Your top morning headlines are coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Just announced, the Ford Black Friday Sellathon is back, bigger and better than ever. The biggest shopping event of the year is on now at your Hawaii Ford dealers. You won't get any better than this. Lease Ranger for only $199 per month. Lease F-150 for just $259 per month. Or drive home F-150 XLT with $92.50 total cash. The Ford Black Friday Sellathon is back, bigger and better than ever. So don't wait. Hurry to your Hawaii Ford dealers. It all ends Monday. When it comes to affordable home furnishing, Ross, hands down, has the best deals on the island. Everything you're looking for, all in one convenient location. From living room, dining furniture, to bedroom sets, including remanufactured green beds. Giving you the feel of nationally recognized brands at a fraction of the cost. So much variety of prices, too low to ignore. Ross Appliance and Furniture will save you hundreds, guaranteed. If you use hearing aids or have difficulty hearing, try the new Micro CIC with advanced smart technology. Hear more naturally with less background noise. Adjusts automatically to your listening environment. Custom designed to be small, comfortable, and fitted for your hearing needs. Hi, I'm Howard Tamashiro. Call us at Hearing Center of Hawaii so we can help to better your hearing. Hearing Center of Hawaii, conveniently located in Honolulu and Pearl Ridge. Okay, sweetie, you're up. Uncle Elf, can you hook me up with a brand new Kia? I know a guy. Ho, ho, ho! At the Aloha Kia Holiday Sticker Sales event, you can save big with up to $2,000 bonus cash plus zero APR for up to 66 months on select vehicles, like the 2019 Kia Optima, the 2020 Kia Sportage, and more. I remember at Aloha Kia, you know a guy. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now in Good Morning Hawaii, a Georgia woman spends her Thanksgiving in shock after her Airbnb guests robbed her family of her heirlooms. Plus, see how long some motor vehicle registration kiosks will be temporarily out of service across the state. And the first local residents across the finish line last year's Honolulu Marathon, hoping for a repeat finish, will check up on his training just ahead. Aloha, everyone. Welcome to our show. Thanks so much for joining us this Saturday morning. Now, we do have a quick programming note for you. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be switching over to MeTV at 7 this morning because of college football. That's on Digital Channel 126, DirecTV Channel 4-1, and 47-1 off-air. Let's turn now to news out of Georgia, where a woman who rented out her house on Airbnb says her house guests turned out to be common thieves. Yeah, not fun. As Trevor Alt reports, she returned to find priceless heirlooms in her home gone. This morning, a Georgia homeowner claims her doorbell camera caught a family of thieves in action, but they didn't break into her house. They paid to stay there. They were Airbnb nightmare. Wendelin Warren says she rented out her home for a week, then found the place ransacked. A message on her mirror written in lipstick and more than two dozen items missing, including precious family heirlooms she'd locked in the basement. They took silverware that's um, priceless that came from my grandfather and my mother. Warren says she believes the doorbell video shows one of the guests trying to block the camera while a man loads up their car. Then later, that woman wearing a coat, Warren says, belongs to her 91-year-old mother. ABC News has not been able to contact the couple in the video. Police are searching for them as well. Airbnb promises reimbursement for cases of guest theft. The company telling ABC, we are appalled by the reported behavior and are quickly working with the host to initiate a claim through our $1 million host guarantee. The company says incidents like this are incredibly rare, but they do happen. I was feeling uh, very angry and helpless. 
as I watched it all happen. Charlie Brems rented out his Arizona home in May to what was supposed to be just seven people. Then his surveillance cameras caught this, a massive party and guests walking out with his things. My personal clothing, my suits, even my uh, toilet paper. Uh, walk out the door. Brem says those guests did more than $60,000 in damage and he's having to fight to get it recouped. So far, Wendell and Warren is less concerned about the things she needs to replace and more worried about the ones she can't. Hope I can get my heirlooms back. That's really, I can buy a TV, but I need my heirlooms back. I can't buy that. Really tragic. That was uh, Trevor Alt reporting. Well, to werewolves, a full moon is an ominous time. But does a full moon mean more crimes and accidents? With results from a recent study looking at just that, here's Megan Tevrizian. Werewolves may be a thing of movies, but the lunar hypothesis is a superstitious belief that a full moon is associated with higher rates of crime and accidents. A study by NYU's Marin Institute of Urban Management looked into whether crime and accidents were truly more likely during full moons than other times. They looked at police and emergency dispatch phone calls in three cities, Vallejo, California, Barrie, Ontario, and Irapuato, Mexico, and compared the number of calls on full moon days to non-full moon days. They actually found no significant difference in the number of calls based on the phase of the moon. And thankfully, no werewolf sightings were mentioned either. So on the night of a full moon, you can rest easy that there seems to be no increased risk of something bad happening than on any other day. With this Medical Minute, I'm Megan Tavrizian, ABC News. Hmm, interesting stuff. Well, in other news, well, the White House has until next Friday to decide whether it will participate in the upcoming House impeachment hearings. The original deadline was supposed to be tomorrow. Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler sent out a letter asking President Trump if he'll be making arguments or call witnesses during those proceedings. Two officials say the Trump administration has not made a decision just yet. With or without the president, though, the House hearings will start on Wednesday. In other news, a group of 20 migrants are safe after they were rescued from a storm drain along the U.S.-Mexico border. Officials say the group tried to enter the country illegally through the drain tube at a port of entry near San Diego, California. The area has been getting heavy rain that caused the dr storm drain they were traveling through to flood. One person was found dead on a nearby beach. Others were taken to the hospital for treatment. Well, now to some new details about a tragic plane crash in Canada that left seven people dead. On board that plane were three children and four adults. The plane crashed Wednesday less than four miles from Kingston's airport where it was headed. According to friends, that pilot was from Texas. Family and friends say he'll be remembered as a generous and kind man. He was a generous man. Uh, and one of the things uh, I think with his wife and him as a family, smile. He was just a guy that you never could make him mad. And just an unselfish person that always smiling. Now it's unclear right now whether weather played a role in that crash, but forecasters there predicted wind gusts were close to 50 miles per hour that day. The investigation is still ongoing. The Federal Aviation Administration is facing major backlash for its investigation into shrinking airplane seats. It's currently testing whether passengers can safely evacuate a modern airplane within 90 seconds. But consumer advocates say the testing does not reflect real-world conditions because none of the participants are children or disabled. The drills also don't include animals, even though many people now fly with pets or service animals. The FAA has not responded to the criticism. Well, American Airlines is giving out uh, travel waivers ahead of a big winter storm that's expected to hit this weekend as millions of holiday travelers are heading home. The airline says customers traveling tomorrow and Monday on flights to and from New York, Philadelphia, and several other cities will receive those travel vouchers. It also says that passengers should check their website for a list of the airports affected. And here at home, the Department of Transportation will be replacing the existing PVC height clearance pipes at the Daniel K. Inouye International Airport with steel bars. Installation of the new steel pipes begins on Monday and may require some temporary road closures while the work is being done. DOT reminds motorists to take precautions and know their vehicle's height before entering airport property. 
Well, some self-serve vehicle registration kiosks on Oahu and the Big Island will be down for two days next week. Starting tomorrow, the kiosks will be undergoing maintenance. They are expected to be back online by Tuesday, December 3rd. We're told November motor vehicle registration renewals can also be done at the county's motor vehicle registration offices on Monday, December 2nd. No late fees will be assessed on those November renewals if you're uh, waiting on that. Well, free Wi-Fi is soon coming to some Hawaii County parks. The Department of Commerce and Consumer Affairs made a deal with Spectrum Oceanic to provide free Wi-Fi to seven park facilities on the Big Island. The locations include Waimea, Pahala, and Keao Community Centers, the Honoka'a and Papaiko gyms, the Pahoa Community Aquatic Center, and the Pahoa Neighborhood Facility. Free Wi-Fi will be available up to one hour per device daily. The Big Island is the last major island to get free service at parks. Well, on your crime watch, Big Island police need your help tracking down a man suspected of breaking into a home in Hilo on Wednesday. Take a look. They released these pictures of that suspect. He was seen wearing gloves and he left the home with a white bag. Anybody who has any information on that, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers, that number 961-8300. And police are looking for this man that went missing on Thanksgiving. 36-year-old Francis Saveo was last seen near Lanikaulua uh, Street in Hilo. He's described as five foot six, about 182 pounds, with black hair and brown eyes. He also has several tattoos, including a full tattoo on his right shoulder, arm, and hand. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is asked to call the Big Island Police. And time now for your weather check. This is a live look at Hilo Bay from our camera at the Hilo Hawaiian Hotel as the sun comes up over the Big Island. So how's it looking over there? You know what? A little bit uh, chilly as you're waking up in Hilo, as you just saw there. 67 degrees and in the 70s across our islands. But you know what? We're talking about winter storms over on the mainland. This is the time that you tell your uh, family and friends back on the mainland uh, how great it is to be in Hawaii right now because it does not get much better than this. Uh, current winds, though, a little gusty in some spots, especially on uh, the North Shore and those uh, Malka areas. Uh, 16 miles per hour in some spots. As we do see that wind pick up the next couple days, you could see some big surfs. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Later, though, your hourly forecast for today, uh, a little bit cloudy start as you see there, but it's going to pick up and we're going to have highs in the 80s here in Honolulu satellite right now. A little bit cloudy again. Uh, that's going to dissipate a little bit later. Your radar, though, uh, the Big Island getting a little bit of action, especially on those south shores, the Kona side, that system moving in the next couple days. Uh, your Sunday, some AM trades, mostly on the Malka areas, leeward, a little bit partly cloudy, but overall, as I've been saying, breezy day, 15 to 25 miles per hour as you're heading out for for your Sunday. Annalisa, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Tom. With a personal best performance, Ben Williams was the first local finisher in last year's Honolulu Marathon. And this year, he wants to do it again. Leading up to the race, KITV4's Nicole Tam checked in on his training. Most of Ben Williams' runs start at his shop in Kailua. He swaps out the slippers and laces up his shoes, then off he goes. Sometimes he runs one mile, sometimes a half marathon, other times up to 23 miles. You have to build up to it. You know, you have um, sort of a progression where you increase your mileage and you increase the intensity of the workouts, uh, and you have to just sort of gradually increase that over time. Um, and then you work your way up to, to race day. I tried to follow along on one of his runs. He's running so fast, our speedometer has him at around 8 to 10 miles per hour. Williams is no stranger to marathons. He's been doing triathlons since 2002. Part of his motivation, passion. It's really not that hard. You know, I, I would probably be doing this no matter what. The other thing is that I just really like it. I like waking up early, I like exercising, I like being outside. Not only is 26.2 miles a physical challenge, but also psychological. My own body is, you know, the race is progressing at different points throughout the race. I feel better and worse, and uh, you have to convince yourself to keep going when you feel pretty bad. When times are tough, he says it'll get better. Just keep moving forward. Don't stop. Keep moving forward. Uh, it'll pass. You'll work through it. One advice he has for other runners, go into every race with no expectations. In the race, the roadblocks are, are very real. You know, you've got tactics and strategy of uh, other competitors and where they're at and kind of how you think they're going to hold up in the race. Williams won't share his goal time this year. He says it's bad luck, but no matter the result, he's happy doing what he loves. Nicole Tam, KITV4, Ella News. 
And KITV4 is your Honolulu Marathon station, start to finish, and everything in between, including experts in the studio, will have live extended coverage on Sunday, December 8th, starting at 4.30 in the morning. Yes, yeah, coming up soon. All right, well, uh, Wisconsin man just finished Air Force basic training last month, and his girlfriend just finished a 5K race on Thanksgiving Day. But as Naomi Knowles explains, what happened after that race will be a memory they'll cherish forever. <laughs> 10 years in the running. We started with 450 runners. This year we had a record 1,904 participants. Wausau's Turkey Trot is racing towards new finish lines while raising money for the Marathon County Hunger Coalition. In our very first year, we raised about $10,000. Um, and every year that dollar amount has increased. And this year we had a record $60,000 has come in. But for one special runner. I woke up this morning thinking I was just running a 5K. Waiting at the finish line was a face that Elizabeth Metz thought she'd have to spend the holiday without. Oh, we've known each other since like middle school. Lucas Toboski just finished Air Force basic training and he's now in tech school in Texas. I was actually really good friends with his sister and then once she left for college, uh, Luke and I started spending some time together. Hit it off really fast and we've been together ever since. He came up to surprise her. I was a little nervous, but um, I was really excited. All these thoughts were going through my head at the time. And Luke had more than just a hug waiting. Did you say yes? Of course. <laughs> For Luke and Elizabeth, the end of this race means a whole new chapter. Hmm. Oh, great story. Congrats to them. We're just saying how cold it looks there in Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah and that was uh, Naomi Knowles reporting. Well, uh, the Illinois State Troopers stepped in to save the day after an organ transplant vehicle broke down. A surgeon, transplant coordinator, and medical student were on their way Tuesday morning to deliver a heart for surgery when they began to have car trouble. There was only a four to six hour window for the heart to remain viable. So when two Illinois State Troopers showed up to help, they knew what needed to be done. I have a lot of training through the Illinois State Police Academy. We deal with a lot of different situations every single day. But we've, I've personally, I know Trooper Sibrin here, has never come across a situation like that. Well, doctors were able to successfully perform the surgery in a timely manner. The transplant patient is recovering from the surgery. Oh, good thing they were there. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, take a look at this. A dying fan received one of his final wishes to watch the new movie Star Wars Rise of Skywalker. The film isn't going to be released until mid-December, but the patient's hospital took to Twitter to make this plea on his behalf, saying time is not on his side. The appeal was met with some strong support on social media with the likes of Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself, wishing the hospice good luck with its request. Great story there. And uh, Disney's uh, chairman and CEO responded to the request tweeting, quote, on this Thanksgiving, we at Disney are grateful to be able to share the rise of Skywalker with that patient and his family. May the force be with you and with us all. The patient releasing a statement thanking Disney, saying he felt like he won the lottery. Aww. Can I take a picture with you? <laughs> that was uh, singer Sia who reportedly paid for shoppers Black Friday purchases at Walmart and TJ Maxx in Palm Springs, California. She tried to keep her identity a secret and told shoppers her name was Cece and she just won the lottery. Sia is known for concealing her face with wigs and turning her back to the audience while performing. Oh, what a nice surprise. Yeah, I know. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever seen her face. She always has the, she has the, the covering over <laughs> it yeah, with the wig. Yeah. Uh, well, Twitter says it's now rethinking its plan to get rid of those inactive accounts after pushback from users. Some worried the change would mean that accounts of people who've died would get deleted. Twitter said it hadn't considered that outcome before. The company now plans to figure out a way to memorialize accounts before removing ones that haven't logged in for at least six months. That's a good point. Yeah. Now's the time to make sure all your computer logins and passwords are secure because guess what? Today's National Computer Security Day. To avoid hackers, experts suggest keeping all operating systems and programs and apps up to date. Antivirus software can also help and you should make sure your wireless network is secure. Don't forget to also back up photos and other important data in case you fall victim to a cyber attack or hardware failure. So I guess I just changed my password from one, two, three, four also. Yeah, yeah I already hacked good. into your account, yeah. Tom. <laughs> well, it should be every day should be computer security that, that, that's day, true. to be honest, um, especially with Cyber Monday coming up.
That's true. Yeah. So a there's lot of, hackers a waiting. Lot of, uh, I know. So, so you keep, keep those credit cards safe too as you're doing those online shopping. All right. Well, time now, 646. Still ahead. See how you can find your perfect fit just in time for Older Driver Safety Awareness Week. That's right. That's next week. Plus, a severe storm moving across the U.S. threatens to bring travel headaches for millions trying to get home. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Start your day with KITV4's Maleko McDonald. Weekdays on Good Morning Hawaii. Mothers at Kaiser Permanente have an amazing amount of choices. Our goal is to provide women with the best childbirth experience that they can have. Occasionally, we do have some newborns who need help. That's when the neonatal intensive care unit comes in. We have babies who are born at less than a pound. We are equipped to take care of them. We are there for you at every step of the way. When they go home, the joy that I see in that family, it's what I live for, and that's why I do what I do. Come discover the best in Filipino cuisine at Shea's Filipino Cafe in Waipio. Enjoy all your quality favorite dishes prepared fresh by our local chefs. Shea's is also the home of Hawaii's original adobo pizza, a delicious specialty pizza that just melts in your mouth. Shea's Filipino Cafe, home of the original adobo pizza and quality Filipino cuisine. Open seven days a week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Catering also available. InSolid has been in business in Hawaii for 20 years. It specializes in fabricating solid surfaces, especially showers, ideal for bathrooms that can change as we age. InSolid has custom models for exact fits for any space. InSolid products are non-porous and seamless. This means no grout and no place for mold or mildew to grow. Contact us today for a free estimate at 808-676-5522. 808 808-676-5522. Okay, so that was headquarters. We've been made. We gotta dish the car. Yes, let's go. What are we going to do with the car? We can't just ditch it. Well, they did pay us to save the world. Why don't we start by saving a life? Mahalo for your donation to Kidney Cars. We'll pick up the car from any location. Donate a car, save a life. Call Kidney Cars today for more information. Accurate weather forecasts with meteorologist Pete Caggiano on KITV4 Island News. This is Good Morning Hawaii. All right, welcome back. Time now, 649, and a major winter storm is tracking across the country. And as Zachary Keish reports, it's making a mess for travelers returning home from the long holiday weekend. This morning, strong winds were too much for this semi as a major winter storm wreaks havoc across the country. In Colorado, heavy snow is creating whiteout conditions and near zero visibility, making the roads treacherous. The slick conditions causing several accidents like this, enforcing some drivers to abandon their cars. The storm's impact stretches into the Midwest. Here, just outside of Minneapolis, multiple people pulling over to help this duck driver. At the Grand Canyon, more blizzard-like conditions. Strong winds and snow shut down roads as more than a foot fell in Flagstaff, leaving drivers stranded. Also in Arizona, the search is on for three missing children after authorities say their car got caught in floodwaters. The heavy rain also forced this rescue. First responders helped Helping the driver to safety. From roads to the skies, a pair of storms causing dangerous travel conditions from coast to coast. Hundreds of delays and cancellations already this morning in airlines issuing travel waivers as the storm moves east. More than 3 million people are traveling this weekend. You mix in some of this bad weather and it's never an easy go. Parts of the Northeast are expected to get hit on Sunday and Monday with a mix of snow, rain and this freezing rain with the inland areas expected to get hit the worst. Zachary Keish, ABC News, New York. Yeah, I definitely hope all our friends on the mainland are staying safe. But all I got to say is hard pass. Lucky we live Hawaii right now. Even uh, even Las Vegas getting some uh, snow and flurries out there. No thanks. So if you want to if you want to brag to all your friends how nice it is in Hawaii, look at this. Uh, wind is our only problem right now. Some pretty gusty spots, especially on the North Shore. 29 miles per hour in Kaneohe right now. But other than that, beautiful day in store here in Hawaii. Not too much to speak of on our radar right now. 
Uh, Kauai, though, a little bit of a system there popping up, and uh, as, as well as Maui there, and the Big Island, a little bit of uh, something out to the south there. But uh, overall, going to be a pretty nice day heading into Sunday as well. Maybe some AM trades, mostly on the Malka sides. Otherwise, uh, so the leeward side, just going to be partly cloudy. Beautiful forecast uh, aside from those breezes. Cloud and rain again today. A little bit of pockets in some spots, especially on the Big Island, but it will clear up later today for Honolulu. Going to be a nice sunny day in the 80s. If you are uh, trying to get out there and surf, um, if you're not a pro, might be a good day to try out surfing for the first time. Not going to be too crazy. North Shore, uh, four to eight footers, but not too bad on the south facing shores. Forecast, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that as you're finishing up your Thanksgiving weekend. Going to be a little bit of clouds, but beautiful highs in the 80s all week. Doesn't get much better than that. And especially when you look at uh, what's going on in the mainland, definitely this time of year is when we are lucky to live Hawaii. All right, Annalisa, we'll send it over to you. All right, thanks, Tom. Now, Monday actually kicks off Older Driver Safety Awareness Week, and today I'm joined by uh, Pamela Anderson. She is with the Occupational Therapy Association of Hawaii, and she is a car fit instructor. Now, this is timely, Pamela, because we just had the story about this older driver, 74 years old, uh, crash into a home in Waikale. So oh. this is one of these incidents that we hear about, but it's an yes. important issue. Tell us about car fit. Yes, it is. Well, car fit um, coming up this Saturday, December the 7th, we will be offering uh, an opportunity for older drivers to come by and have their car fit for them. Basically, it's an idea of uh, Occupational Therapy Association, mm -hmm. uh, as well as AAA and uh, AARP, our good friends at AARP. But it's an educational piece regarding teaching the driver to be safe as well as comfortable in their car. Mm -hmm. So what specifically happens during this car fit session? Thank you. Uh, it's a 20-minute checkup. We have a 12-point checklist that we go through with the drivers, covering maybe their mirror, uh, um, uh, set up as well as their chair, uh, mm, their steering wheel, mm -hmm. excuse me, but their steering wheel use as well, and making sure that it is fitting them properly and safely while they are driving. And it's so important because like we like we said earlier, we hear some of these reports about some accidents involving older drivers. Yes. How important is it to get the message out there to our community about um, being aware of what needs to be yes, done? Yes, thank you, quite aware. We have to make our community aware of that. Uh, basically, with the older driver uh, week coming up, December 2nd through the 6th, at AOTA.org, um, there's going to be chats regarding the older driver, and basically, it's not a one-time, uh, Dad, give me the keys, and you take the keys away. It's mm -hmm. not. It's a lengthy conversation because basically it's independence for this driver, and you know, you having to take that away, it's very, very hard. So mm -hmm. there are going to be chats all the way through next week, if they can catch it again on AOTA.org, uh, but basically, we think coming out to our car fit, we'll be able to show them a little bit more about how they can still be safe on the road because older drivers are actually the most safest drivers. They follow the speed limits, they do not drink and drive. Unfortunately, though they would be on a major crash, they would either be killed or have very severe uh, injuries because of their frailty. Mm. Yeah. And reaction time perhaps in Correct. emergencies like that. Yes. Well, this is very important information. Tell us where we can get it again, the Thank carpet. you. It's going to be at Alawai Elementary, Saturday, December 7th at 8 a.m. to noon. All right. And we'll have our great friends at AARP out there as well as occupational therapy. Very good. Thank you so much, Pamela Anderson. Uh, we are off for a break. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Poncho's Solar Service, to harness the sun, Poncho's number one. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Poncho's can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Poncho's can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. The flock blindly falls into formation. But this season, a more thrilling journey is calling. Defy the laws of human nature at the season of Audi sales event. 
From the moment you leave the beaten path and walk through our palm tree grove, you are greeted with aloha and treated like ohana. Come encounter an authentic Hawaiian experience at Paradise Cove, Hawaii's premier Kama'aina Luau. Enjoy Hawaiian games, live music, hula lessons, canoe rides, all topped off with a stunning sunset backdrop as you delight in delicious Hawaiian food and colorful entertainment from across the Pacific. Make your reservations today by visiting paradisecove.com. Paradise Cove, Hawaii's best luau. It's the Miller Lite Tastes All Right Pauhana Series. Nothing says Pauhana better than great friends, great food, and great drinks. And at Side Street Inn, you'll have it all. Conveniently located on Kapahulu and Hopaka, we we are local gourmet comfort food, period. From our award-winning pan-fried pork chops to our signature fried rice and spicy garlic chicken, we have something that will please any appetite. Come join us for the best Pauhana specials in town. Side Street Inn. Check it out on KITV.com slash Pauhana. A moth struggles in the spider's web, unaware that an exhilarating escape is just within reach. Defy the laws of human nature at the Season of Audi sales event. Accurate weather forecasts with meteorologist Pete Caggiano and KITV4 Island News. This is Good Morning Hawaii.